guys and welcome back to a, another a vlog. This is another event vlog. It's a Zebedee event vlog. We are heading to Cornbury, a new venue for us. We are going to do the three stars for another international. We're heading there today. We're doing the dressage today. We're then staying overnight and we're doing our show jumping and cross country tomorrow. Mum and dad can't come, but well, dad's gonna come for the show jumping tomorrow. So if we pan around to Michaela, who's holding the camera, Kayla is coming with us. Really? Literally just got in. And he's pooed. And he's pooed already. And we've not bed. we've not even left. Yeah, and that's that's right where our heads are going. <laughs> We are having to stay in the lovely trailer, which is gonna be fun, especially when it is raining and not very nice weather. But we've just loaded Zeb up, we've loaded the car up, we're gonna head up, head on our way and get there and do our dressage. So we will see you in a bit. Stuff. <laughs> right, Zeb, we've got to get you to the uh, vet check. We're going to have to take out some of this stuff to get him out. Nice. <laughs> Just arrived at Cornbury. So, because it's an international, we've got to take him to the vet check now, where they'll check his passport, um, check that I filled out all of the relevant information on the FEI app and possibly take his temperature before then. Uh, then we'll get the massage rug on and get him tacked up ready for dressage. Good boy. My right, Ash, what are you doing? Just retaking his temperature again. I've taken it for the last three days. I took it before I got here. This is an FEI rule. They want you to take the temperature. So I'm gonna take him up in a minute, but I always just like to have a quick check again before we go head over. And for those that don't know, how do you take a horse's temperature? Oh, put the thermometer up there, Mum. <laughs> really pleasant. He well, doesn't mind, though. Zeb is very good and literally doesn't care. He doesn't mind. No. How have you done your temperature and self circle? Yes. Amazing. Do you have a thermometer on you? Yes. Do you mind? I can do it. I literally was just, just tried to do it before I got here and I know, I'm not sure whether the battery is going. Okay, vet check is done. Temperature has been taken. So now we're heading back to put the massage rug on. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning I in his blue eyes confusing, I know. I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide Okay, so we are just on, ready for the dressage. We've just started walking up. I think it is a long walk. He needs a good walk anyway, so it's a perfect time for him to just stretch his legs. So yeah, we're heading up to the dressage warm-up and hoping for all good things, Zeb. Tell me all of your lies 
put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be Good actually, the rain back wasn't, we went a bit skew with and a bit quick, but apart from that, I thought it was quite relaxed, not overly tense. Yeah. Yeah, I was pleased with it. Okay guys, so we have just finished my dressage, just walking back now. I thought he was really good, nice and relaxed again. Maybe not quite as good as Wellington, or I'm just being harsh, I'm not sure, but he was nice and relaxed. He wasn't tense, which is what we normally struggle with. He wasn't too overexcited. As I said earlier, our rain back, that could still do with a bit of work, but you know, that's just one movement. The rest, I thought he was really, really good. I was really pleased with him, and we know the dressage, you know, they don't always like Zeb, so it is what it is really, I don't really mind, but I was pleased with him, I thought he really tried hard. It's actually quite nice because there's no cross country going on today, I think that helped. Yeah, overall really pleased with him. Okay, so we're just gonna do a guess the dressage. So Michaela, what do you reckon? I'm actually gonna be quite confident and go with a 34.5. 34.5. I think it was a lovely five. test, there were some really lovely bits, I think your mediums were beautiful. Yes, you rain back, not so great, but it's yeah. only one one part out of however, however many, many parts. Yeah. So yeah, it's I'm gonna go 34.5-ish. 34.5-ish. I'm, I'm gonna put an ish on the end, but 34.5. <laughs> I'm gonna go for, it's either gonna be like a 35 or a 33, I reckon. Depends how harshly they're That's marking, a a, yeah. That's a bit of a difference. Well, it's because it depends if they're like, kindly marking I reckon I might just get in the 33 and if they're a bit harsher it'd be 35. I'm gonna go with 35 but I would love it to be a 33. <laughs> chilling in the trailer, it's raining a lot. Literally managed to get him in just before, didn't we? Yeah. Your dressage was in the sun. Dressage was in the sun. We'd had a tiny bit of rain on the way back. Managed to untack him mostly in the dry and then literally got him in then it started <laughs> chucking it down. We've still got to walk the cross country course but we're going to see if it passes. <laughs> we're only in the car so this currently is our bit yeah. that we can stand in under cover. Also is our bed yeah. for later on. <laughs> I do have a tarpaulin to lie down. Oh nice, <laughs> nice. Can't wait. <laughs> first combination on course this lovely big brush to be that skinny sort of shoulder brush on an angle four on a straight line or you could curve it a bit you're going for the straight or the curve curve it you're gonna have to jump that one on an angle aren't you yeah what's the verdict curve okay, or straight no gonna jump it on a straight line i think it's been built to jump on a straight line anyway as Michaela said, there's actually quite a nice ground line here, which is holding you in here a bit. You've just got to be committed and make sure, as long as he knows where he's going, he's not gonna run out because he's naughty. It's lonely be if he doesn't understand where he's going. So I've just got to really be committed, make sure he knows where he's going and he should pop it. So 
third storm incoming. This is a four part combination, so a second combination on course, first water. Uh, this does look quite tough actually, so you've got these rails coming in, so these aren't too bad. On a curving line to that house, he won't know he's not jumping into water till we get close. And then you just run through the water and then out over the skinny um, at D. So D does have a black flag. Black flag basically means you don't have to jump that and there'll be an easier alternative that you'll then basically you'll just incur, you won't incur any penalties, but you'll incur time probably because it's a long route round. Okay, so we've just got the dress up scores. Let's just remind ourselves, Michaela said 34.5 ish. ish. <laughs> I said 35 or 33, and it was 35. Nice. So, on. so I'm pleased with that. Knew it wasn't my best test, but for me, 35 or below, and I'm happy. It's not Zeb's best phase. So I am sitting in 29th out of 40 at the minute. All to play for, <laughs> I think, in the jumping phases. 35, I'm happy with that. I thought yeah. he was good. And a nice trochane, I mean, if you can call them nice, still rather big, but they're just a gallopy fence. So we can just stay in our rhythm and keep coming. But the next combination, this is now quite a tough, we've got a three part combination after like four gallopy fences. So you're gonna have to really sit them back up, get them listening, cause they'll be a bit more in the flow. So basically we've got these rails on a curve to a corner. I think that's a straight line to a skinny. So quite tough. So five strides on a curve. So you want to jump, you want to jump slightly to the left of the rails, and then you really want to just keep looking round to the corner. Fence 12 we should ride quite straightforward, but obviously it's quite large. It's got a ditch in front of it. Um, nice big brush, but you just gotta keep coming. Don't look down at the ditch because that is where you'll end up. Second water, fence 14, it is another four part combination. So we have to jump in over the seal. So you've got to be quite bold, but then you've got to be looking left because you're then going over the skinny roll top and then you're jumping the skinny brush in the water and then you're coming out over D, which is a brush on an angle. So I think this is going to catch a few people out. Another three part combination. Not much let up on this course. Rails to a ditch, to another two or three strides to a skinny rails. This is quite a steep hill coming into these rails. So, and you've just jumped a oxer of rails at the top of the hill. So they will have opened up over the oxer and then you've got to really sit them up as you're coming down the hill. Do you reckon I can make that? No. Let's, let's not injure ourselves. Gonna go? She's gonna go for it. <laughs> no way am I doing that. I hate a corner and a like a shoulder brush. I'll take one of those skinnies, like skinny skinny any day. And here we have an event rider in her natural habitat. The last combination on course, skinny brush on a curving line, five strides to another skinny corner. They love a skinny corner here. There it is, number 20. Nice one to finish. It's a nice course, very well presented, but it is definitely difficult. There's lots of tricky combinations, tricky lines, not many let up fences. So it's definitely not gonna be a dressage competition, which to be honest, does suit Zeb and I because we are not dressage. Well, he's not a dressage horse. Definitely excited to get out there. We are just gonna go and walk the show jumping because we're on nice and early tomorrow. And then we will head to, basically they don't have stabling on site here. So we're stabling at a yard locally. So we're then gonna drive there, get Zeb sorted and get some dinner. So we are at the yard where we are staying tonight. Zeb is here. He's tucked in for the night, aren't you? Hey, you've got your hood on. He says, leave me alone because I'm eating. Is that what you say? Leave me alone because I'm eating? Come on. I'll leave you alone in a minute. Good boy. Like a little nose scratch, don't you? Uh, 
camping area. <laughs> got our chairs there, our passes on to cook because we've got to get up on nays. Got Michaela on uh, food duty. What have we got today then, Michaela? Got a bit of spaghetti bolognese. Nice. Look at that for the old camping and the uh, trailer. Everyone's laughing at, not laughing at us anymore, are they, with Everyone our spaghetti bolognese? Yeah. That is our <laughs> yeah. Literally on the old road. We've had a few people walk past and give yeah. us a funny look, but we're doing okay. So this, yeah, is our setup. We're gonna have our food and then put everything away because we've got an early start. Our bed is now set up, and then we're gonna get into bed and watch a Married at First Sight. So we're just in bed at the minute, relaxing before our um, early start. There's Michaela. <laughs> got the light up there. Got the iPad on, we're watching some Married at First Sight. Not too bad of a situation actually, so we're going to head to sleep soon and then we will see you bright and early in the morning ready for Zeb Shojamun Cross Country. Hey guys, we have arrived back for day two. Here, Michaela is just putting his bridle on now. It did rain a lot yesterday, so everyone is getting stuck. Not us though, because we're in the car and the trailer, so we are all good. We are on very early. Um, Show jumping is 8.39 and cross country is 9.34. Both look very tough. The show jumping in is, is in quite a small arena and Zeb does have to get quite a big canter. So it's definitely going to be lots of concentrating this morning. Um, but hopefully if anyone could do it, Zeb and I can and it's not raining at the minute. So fingers crossed it stays dry till after I finished. We're up again before we went to bed. Literally I was in a coma this morning. Ashley's and Michaela have been up in the trailer all night snoring uh, at eight hours sleep. I had about 10 minutes sleep and so did the dog. <laughs> so yeah, we've, we're miles away from home. I used to work up this way, so I do know this area quite well. Okay. Everybody's letting it go out the back end. It's getting excited. Really it? quite unpleasant. <laughs> we're here, V tired, even the dog's tired. Oh, Belle, are you tired? Yeah, Ashley yeah. thinks she's good, <laughs> but I think she's average. Bad. At best. Look at him chuckling to himself. <laughs> hey. What do we say when we show John Ashley? Leg up. Leg on, sorry. <laughs> Leg up. <laughs> Leg well, on, Zeb's, Zeb's legs yeah, up. look up. You need to be not. Breathe. You need to be quick, back and you need to be breathing, and you need to you need to be quick. Don't fiddle about with them. See what Ashley does. You see, this is I know a bit about show jumping because I'm actually probably quite good. But basically, <laughs> what Ashley does is fiddle. Yeah. And he's so sensitive. She just fiddle with him, and she gets over the over his front a bit in like in the in the combination triples. Yeah. She's not getting a weight back quick enough. Yeah. So she needs to be quicker in her way of going. She yeah. needs to stop fiddling. She needs to put her leg on and then she needs to look up yeah. and breathe. That's it in a nutshell. Our dress on at 35 I thought was quite good. Pretty decent. That's our what's his name next door, isn't it? That's Scott's mate, isn't it? Who? Hey. Michaela's done well with her legging up. It's yeah. hardly a big job, but she's managed that quite well. It's a bit <laughs> big, <laughs> Harry. You, you're terrible. I'll grow up. Look into his eye. You love getting into his eye, don't yeah, you? Yeah, look. look at that, look at that eye. <laughs> That's one hell of an eye, isn't it?
You tapped the first one quite hard. I know. It stayed in. I just, I really was trying. It's just because it's tight he to keep off a bit, the canter yeah. Yeah. around those tight turns. I mean, I'm pretty pleased I only have one down, to be honest. Yeah. He rattled oh, a few. He rattled a few, though. You know, he jumped one, he rattled, then he jumped two, three nicely. Four, he yeah. kind of got, and I really had to work to get out. Yeah. Five, then he got in a bit deep, but I jumped, and then I just came around the turn, and he just. I think it's just that that's my only thing is when it's tight like that to keep that canter because if you think yeah. you've got to turn back up the center line it's just a lot harder yeah. the to cut keep back, the canter. Yeah. He just lost his momentum. Yeah, that it was, was just never. It. it was. He just wasn't going yeah. there, was he? And it's it's actually quite slippy out there. That's why I think if it hadn't have rained, I think he would have been better. Oh, I thought you rode it well. I rode what I had. It's a bit disappointing, but at the same time, I'm pleased because I think it's causing a lot of problems, Dad. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Oh, it is. It's and he wasn't easy in there, but I'm, I'm pleased. I think yeah. Only one down. All right. Well, onto the cross country. Onto the fun bit. Good boy. Let's do this. Okay, we are ready for the cross country in the rain, as you can see, which isn't very pleasant. Apparently, 10 minutes ago, we are in drought. I know, and now it's look at it. muddy, everyone's being towed oh, yeah. in, and it's absolutely pouring. I and the dog's moody. The dog is moody. The dog is V moody. Apparently, the dog doesn't like rain, but goes in puddles continuously, so yeah. what's all that about? <laughs> We're ready for the cross country. It is tough. Got to really keep our wits about us and focus, but I think it's definitely within our capabilities. It is a little bit slippery now, so just have to be careful on the turns. But yeah, I think Zeb's up for it, so let's go. Zeb's up for it, Ash is up for it, I'm up for it, Michaela's up for it, and the dog is up for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I'll see you out there. Yeah, see you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> just trust yourself and trust him, he's loving it. Just pick up on our manotas. Ashley Harrison, Zebedee. I come to the president's chair, the Maddox Gallery president's chair. Jump across the road crossing, then to the British eventing. Glade style rain continues to batter down here at Cornbury House Hall's trials. Now we pick up Ashley Harrison, Zebedee. Jumps the 13th at the Leicester Rails. Then to the Pragnal Lake Superior. Just a little long look out over the otter. The otter caught, carved by David Evans and his team. David Evans is anonymous with his carvings. It's just a let up fence. A huge jump and a big fence it is too. But just sets you up well now for the Danby Rails and Marlborough Moat. Huge jump over the rails. Then we've just got riders, just got to get the horses back on the hocks as they jump the rails, skips over the ditch. And very neatly done there for Ashley Harrison and Zebedee. Climb the hill opportunity of this fence. Jumps the arrow head very neatly over the brush corner there for Asher Harrison. One left to go for them. Not to be a very quick round. It's the final fence. Huge jump with the final fence and through the finish. I should be thrilled with that round. It looked pretty quick from our commentary position. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. So slippery going around any turn and he was a bit tired from Wellington 
but it was e an even better round than Wellington. I didn't check and I was actually like, at Wellington, I was slowing up for every gallop fence. I just was jumping them in my stride. I saw the stride, I was going for it. I had quite a lot of time. It was so, time, it was so slow. It sounds like a lot of people are getting time it though. Was, like, every turn, like you gallop up around there, where normally that would be galloping, like proper gallop. I had to slow right down because you're turning and it's just, because it's only just rained, it's just so, surface wet slippery. yeah that was a better round in wellington like, i felt like then we were back in our Rhythm. stride mm. over everything we got everything bang on i did like the combination at the back with the corner and the skinny he mm -hmm. went on five and five didn't even put a six in he just nice. launched he was like yeah the water he jumped really well i did jump drop my whip as i jumped in i think it's causing a lot of problems though isn't it a couple of people have pulled up because of refusals yeah i've heard of time lots of time I'm really pleased. I felt like I really was back, back in the flow. You looked on form. Yeah, no, he was really good. So where's the water? Shall I go back to the water? Yeah, it's over there. Not the one the cable was at, it's the other one, it's quite far. You need to walk that way. Brilliant. So we've just washed Zebedee down. Well, Michaela's just washed Zebedee down. Just trying to offer him a drink now. Take his studs out in a minute, give him a little walk and then put his ice boots on. But he was absolutely fantastic, weren't you, Zeb? Got a little bit of time. He was just, I don't normally run this close together. I did Wellington about 12 days ago. Um, so normally I actually like to give him uh, like four weeks between events, but the way it worked out because of the wedding, we hadn't done a lot and then we're coming towards the end of the season. So I always knew he may be a little bit tired. He was still completely on form. I just didn't want to push him too much in the cross country and it was slippery. So we got a little bit of time, but you were just jumping absolutely amazingly. I felt like I really had my confidence back. I was riding like I used to before my fall. So for me, that's way more important than, you know, going inside the time. So super pleased with you. Hey, Zebby. I think he can have a few days off now, more than a few days, maybe a week, eh? Uh, so we're going to walk him around and then we're going to sort him and then we've got to go and get our breakfast because we are starving. So I'm just relaxing with his ice boots on. Good boy. You good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. You want some more polos? Good boy. Okay, let's put you in, Zeb. Okay guys, so we have finished our event at Cornbury. Really, really pleased with him. He got a 35 dressage, which is just anything 35 and below. We are super happy with him because dressage is not our forte, is it buddy? And then we just had one fence down in the show jumping. I was really pleased with that because it was quite tight in there. And then he was just a superstar on the cross country. I really felt like we got our confidence back. We were back in our flow. We were jumping out of our rhythm, um, felt like back where we were before our fall so really pleased with him we got 14 time just where it was slippery where it had rained and he was a little bit tired from wellington but super pleased he finished 23rd out of 50 so uh, can't ask much more from him um, than that so i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog we're going to get him home it's still really early it's only about half past 11 so we can get out in the field when we get home so i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog thank you as always for all of your support really really appreciate it and we will We'll see you for the next one.